Our next award will be presented by Carol Kimball Stahl. Carol is the Director of Transportation Rates Division in the North Carolina uh, Utilities Commission Public Staff, uh, which is charged with representing the interests of the using and consuming public in all matters brought before the Commission involving regulated motor carriers. Carol. And talk um, and I want to thank the um, the North Carolina Transportation Hall of Fame for inviting me to be the presenter this is really an honor for me to do this Carter Lassiter successfully led the growth of high point based city transfer and storage which was started by his father I am Lassiter in 1908 with a wagon and a team of mules and horses if the sons would come up here and join me, I'd appreciate that. I'm sure Mr. Lasseter would be proud to have these fine guys up here. Sweetie, come up here. Whatever Ron wants. Okay. <laughs> Centering their operations in High Point near the railroad tracks, the company hauled freight that ranged from passenger from rail passenger luggage to dirt. As long as it would fit in the wagon, they'd haul it. Uh, the business continued to grow, always emphasizing customer service. The company was later modernized when they replaced the horse-drawn wagon with a truck. That truck was brought in by rail and it was the first truck for the city of High Point. Working with his father, Carter and his brother William Mack Lassiter expanded the company in new directions. By the 1950s they had added long distance relocations to their local moving services. Um, in uh, 1956 they were granted their authority from the North Carolina Utilities Commission. In 1961, the company, now under Carter's sole control, moved to its present location on Reading Drive in High Point. Services were expanded to include commercial storage, corporate relocations, and crane work. Carter's wife, Doris, served as the secretary for 30 years and is a large part of the success of the company. Their four sons began learning the business as youngsters. They had to wash the trucks and sweep the warehouse floor. In 1988, City Transfer and Storage became an agent for Atlas Van Lines and later one of the first stockholding agents. And I must tell you that I have learned more about this posture of a stockholding agent and it is very impressive. In 1994, they expanded to Winston-Salem and in 2007 they moved to, uh, they also expanded into Fayetteville. Today, three of Carter's sons comprise the executive management team and they continue to expand and uh, build on that customer service excellence for which they're known. They've been doing this for 100 years this year. At this time, before I make the presentation, I would like to recognize Greg Hoover, who is president of Atlas Van Lines. Thank you, Carol. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be with you here today um, as a president of a company that's nearly a billion dollars in revenue and we're pretty proud this fall to be celebrating our 60th anniversary and but you know that really pales in comparison uh, to a company like City Transfer that's been in business for a hundred years uh, and the fashion of excellence in which they've uh, really contributed to their community their state their industry um, we have nearly 600 agents, North America for Atlas Van Lines, and I can tell you that uh, these fellows up here today represent one of our highest quality, best performing, and uh, from my personal point of view, some of the best friends that I have in this system. So it's a great privilege for me to be here today and to join you in congratulating Carter and his family on this great honor, and uh, it's a real privilege. Congratulations, fellas.
representing their late father are his four sons, Ron, who did not make it up here to the stage, and we've got Tim, Scott, and then Ron. Bart, excuse me. Sorry, sweetie. On behalf of the founders, and in the presence of all here today, I hereby induct your father, Carter C. Lassiter, into the North Carolina Transportation Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you, Carol. Greg, we appreciate the kind words. On behalf of my brothers and our families, we want to thank my dad's brothers and sisters for honoring us and my cousins with their presence today, uh, my family, our friends that are here from High Point, and of course our employees and family from City Transfer. We thank you for all you've done to contribute to our being a part of this town for 100 years. I was thinking what dad would want to say if he was here, and the first thing he would be would say is to thank everybody. We got that out of the way. He would say, mention your mother, and I want to mention my mother once again because she was a very vital part of the success of city transfer and storage. And he would want to say something about High Point and the fact that we've been in this town all these many years. And some of the stories that could be told of my grandfather and Pearlie Thomas talking about changing from streetcars to school buses, my granddad from horses and mules to the gas engines, talking about old man Mr. Mickey, excuse me, uh, who's also an inductee buying truck bodies from him. We've still got one, solid metal, floor sides and everything. Got it at the, at the warehouse. Uh, it never will wear out. Uh, and my good friend Tom Slane and his dad, Tom Slane run his dad going through High Point trying to get people to invest in an idea of making a boat out of fiberglass. And that was the start of Hatteras Yachts right here in High Point. So there's a lot of history. We're thankful to be a part of it. My dad was a great example of how to conduct business and do business. He's passed that on to myself and my brothers, and we're going to continue to pass it down as well. And we thank you very humbly for this honor upon him. Thank you. And, I, and I'm sorry. Thank you, Carol. I do want to recognize my uncle Mac Lassiter, 89 years old still a part of this town and a part of uh, our history as well too and we thank you for all you contributed to our success too mike thanks again